Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Pat Summit, the winningest coach in college basketball history, is stepping down today. She became a woman's basketball icon over the past four decades at the University of Tennessee. Less than a year ago, Summit was diagnosed with early onset dementia. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds is at the campus in Knoxville, Tennessee. Dean, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, as she takes her leave today, Coach Summit says she will devote a lot of time in the future to fighting the disease that has sidelined her. Last month, you could tell from her words that Pat Summit seemed to know her coaching career was coming to an end. I love the game, and whether I'm, you know, here and, and you know, at UT, I may or may not coach. So, it is what it is. For 38 years, she had roamed courtside, racking up 1,098 wins against only 208 losses. Along the way, there were eight national championships and 16 conference titles that put Summit and women's college basketball on the nation's sports map. Shelley Collier played for Summit from 1983 to 1987. Wow, I mean, when you think about bas women's basketball, how can you not think about Pat Summit? She has touched a lot of people's lives. Holly Warlick, Summit's assistant for 27 years, will succeed her but can't really replace her. Good job. Summit, who is 59, will become head coach emeritus. She is still very much alive and very much, you know, ready to fight whatever's in front of her with the way that she's done everything. In a statement released Wednesday, the coach said, I recognize that the time has come to move into the future and to step into a new role. And that will include the job of spokesperson in the fight against the disease through the Pat Summit Foundation Fund. Former President Ronald Reagan had the disease, disclosing it in 1994 and dying 10 years later. His wife Nancy called that period the long goodbye. Recently, entertainer Glenn Campbell acknowledged his struggle with Alzheimer's and launched an international farewell tour. Campbell is one of 5.4 million Americans who are living with Alzheimer's. It is the sixth leading cause of death in this country. There is no known way to prevent it, much less cure it. This afternoon, school officials here at the University of Tennessee will join Coach Summit and her successor at a news conference. It will be the changing of the guard and an end of an era. Dean Reynolds, thank you very much.